This week we're going to talk about the critical weather conditions for that double crop corn in Brazil. We're also going to talk about early planting progress as well as weather conditions for the U.S. corn crop and focus on the highest price ever for December corn futures in mid-April. Hi, this is Brian Bastine with Advanced Trading. Let's talk about the corn market. We've moved into mid-April here and there's a lot going on, not only here in the U.S., but also worldwide. We're going to narrow our focus this week and start out looking at the double crop corn for progress in Brazil, specifically looking at weather conditions. Let's start out looking at where that double crop corn is produced in Brazil. And we'll see here that the uh, corn is primarily produced in Mato Grosso in the north, uh, a little bit in Goiás, and in the south, Paraná and Mato Grosso do Sul. So you're looking at uh, about 80% of that double crop corn is produced in those four states. Let's move on now and look at the weather conditions for those states. Our slides this week, as usual, are courtesy of T-Storm Weather. We're starting out looking at the past precip of the last 30 days. It's a proxy for subsoil moisture in those regions. A little bit of a divergence here, as you can see, from mid-March to mid-April. And those northern areas have been drying out a bit. Now that's not all bad because that crop was planted on time. It's growing those roots down here as we would be in June, mid to late June here in the U.S. And in the south, where it was dry, they're actually getting more moisture. Let's now look at the next 14 days. And this is critical because as you move into the second half of April, more of that corn in Brazil will be pollinating, especially in the north, where we're looking at normal to above normal precepts, slightly above normal in Mato Grosso, a little bit drier or close to normal as you move further south, but here's the key message. A year ago at this time, all those areas were experiencing dry weather, and we ended up with a short crop. This year, much different scenario so far. Let's switch gears now and focus on U.S. corn planting progress. We're looking at as of April 10th here, and it's very early. I don't want to read too much into this yet, but at 2% uh, unchanged from the previous week, it is down a bit from last year. At this time, was 4%, but as you can see, the five-year average is at 3%. As we look at the next two weeks here, you can see historically, on average, from April 10th to the 24th, we usually see an additional 12% of the corn planted. So we're looking at, mid, at about that 24th of April, about 15% of the corn, on average, is planted nationwide. Now let's look at the past precip for the last 30 days. Once again, a proxy for subsoil moisture. Overall here, uh, moist in the heart of the corn belt, a little bit drier as you move further west, but no extremes other than that far western corn belt in western Kansas is quite dry, as well as parts of South Dakota and North Dakota. The next seven days, that may change, however, particularly in North Dakota, with the snowstorm with blizzard that we're seeing here this week. Looking at the next seven days, ample precipitation, for example, in North Dakota, uh, particularly in the eastern Corn Belt too, parts of southern half of, of Illinois as well as Indiana uh, and the western part of Ohio and southern Michigan. As a percent of normal, the next 14 days, quite moist across most of the, of the Corn Belt here, the exception being excessively moist conditions in North Dakota because of that blizzard. Let's wrap things up this week looking at trends in December corn futures. Notice here in mid-April with December corn trading near $7.30 a bushel, that's the highest price ever for this time of year. Therefore, we strongly encourage you to continue to work closely with your trusted risk management advisor to manage price movement. Now, if you'd like more information, please feel free to contact us at 800-664-2321. We'll put you in contact with one of our risk management consultants who'd be happy to visit with you at your convenience. And remember, we upload every Wednesday. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to never miss an upload. Thanks a lot. Hope you have a happy Easter.